This little video is designed to help you know how to do a literature review and how to search for articles using our databases on the Mildred Sawyer Library website. So I'm first going to begin by beginning at the home page of the library. And the first place I'm going to go is to get some preliminary data to help me kind of understand what it is I'm interested in. I know broadly that what I'm interested in is inequality <clears throat> and voting patterns in the American public. So the first place I'm going to go is databases by subject. I'm going to scroll down to social sciences and the first place I will go is the CQ Press political reference suite. When I go there, I'm not really interested in policy tracking or primary sources, not really legislative history, not historical documents, but ah, vital statistics, public opinion and voting. So I'm going to go there and then go to the public opinion and voting. And I'm going to go to partisan identification by groups in 2004 and 2008. And I'll just press right on the Excel spreadsheet button. And here I am. Here I am with my Excel spreadsheet, which I have already highlighted these columns because this is particularly what I'm interested in. So here is the 2004, uh, 2004 data. We find that people who earn $20,000 or less are more are 60% 6, of them are Democrats and 30% of them are Republicans. And people who earn between 20 and 29,000, 56 are Democrats and 35% are Republicans, and so on and so forth. So I find that in 2004. When I look over at 2008, I see the numbers are even slightly more pronounced, and that the Democrats have an advantage uh, as incomes are lower and a decreasing advantage as incomes get higher. So that's interesting. I'm just going to, to file this away, put it somewhere. But it could be some data that I present in my data section of my paper when I get there. So this forms the puzzle for me and my question might be something like why do low-income voters prefer Democrats or that seems contrary to some um, media information that I've gathered over the years. I'm going to go back and go back to the Sawyer Library website right here and now I'm going to look for articles. First thing I'm going to do is actually, before I even look for articles, I'm going to look for books. And I'm going to type in inequality and party in my keyword search, see what I get. And here, I find that the <clears throat> library has a bunch of different books. Unequal Democracy, The Political Economy of the New Gilded Age. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to click on that. It's a 2008 book. And there's lots of information here about it. It's over in the law school, so I'd have to go there. Uh, I can look at the reviews and look at the table of contents. Hmm. The partisan political economy, partisan patterns of income growth. This looks interesting and like a book that I'd like to get. Let's see who it's by. It's by a guy named Larry Bartels. Okay, let's see if he's written any interesting articles about that formed the basis really for his book. So I'll go back to the main site of the Sawyer Library and I'm going to go to back to databases by subject, go to social sciences, and now I'm going to go into JSTOR. I'm going to go into JSTOR, I'm going to type in Bartels and I'll type in the author, I want to search by author, find an article, and scroll down and check political science so that I can get books by political science and see what there is. Okay, so these are, Larry Bartels has 22 articles that JSTOR has scanned in and filed. Partisan bias and political perceptions. Homer gets a tax cut. Inequality in public policy. That looks interesting, so I'm gonna look at that. Uh, the other ones don't look that interesting. Uninformed votes, information effects. Uh, since I'm not very clear on my topic, that, that may be interesting, I can check that. Is the water rising? Reflections on inequality. Another thing I might do, I notice that the articles on inequality that he's written tend to be relatively newer articles. So I could change how I sort the results. I could sort them from newest to oldest and see what I get. 
Yes, that gives me a lot of interesting things. So I'm going to look at each of these articles. Let's say I start with Is the Water Rising? Reflections on Inequality. So this looks interesting, and I can look both at what he's referenced to collect some other articles, look through these and try to find those things. The other thing is I can go to the Google Scholar related items and items citing this item and items by Larry Bartels. I'll see what items citing this item. There are none. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll go to Google Scholar, nevertheless. Here I am. And type in uh, inequality and Democratic Party. Let me see what I get. <clears throat> so, we'll look. There seems to be lots of different articles that I can look through. I'm not really interested in socialist party strength. Um, this one looks kind of interesting, but I think that might have to do with different countries, and I'm really interested in American politics. This is in a comparative politics text. Larry Bartels, hmm, looks like he's written another book. So I'll click that, see what it is. And here's the Google book. What's it called? What's the name of the book? The Unsustainable American State. I'll go back and see if our library has that. If I go directly to sort of the unsustainable, I've got a title, unsustainable American state. And our library does have that. Very good. So now I have a couple of articles that he's written <clears throat> and a couple of books, and I can look at his citations to help me find other articles and other books. And I note that this is clearly an edited book that he has edited. And there are other authors in here and interesting things that might be useful to me. So I could also just see what some of the other what some of the other authors who wrote chapters for this book have written. So I notice that there's Benjamin Page and uh, Larry Jacobs have written No Class War, Economic Inequality in the American Public. So I can go back to JSTOR 